Lucas Ligeti's Pattern Transformation is written for four players sharing two marimbas. Uh, it begins with one player playing a 34 note pattern. It's very chromatic. And each of the other players come in playing the same pattern, but not in sync with the first player. So you end up with this canon, all four players playing the same thing, kind of similar to the music of Steve Reich, except in this case, because the pattern is so chromatic, you end up with a very crunchy kind of dissonance. The transformation of the pattern takes place as each player inserts rests into their pattern. And then after a while, uh, they start transforming the eighth notes in the pattern into quarter notes. And so that sort of gradually eases up the real tension of all these notes going at once. Things kind of open up a little bit. There some of the resulting rhythms are really interesting. They're kind of like uh, Amadinda music, where you have two different players playing a steady pulse, like quarter notes, but passing back and forth between the two players very quickly. Uh, Lucas is uh, very interested in African music, and, and he's studied the Samadinda stuff, and it, uh, this is a lot of where that part of the piece comes from. Later on, as the piece continues to transform, uh, it sort of changes into these really beautiful interlocking melodies that are formed by the composite of all four players, but now each player is playing one note occasionally. Uh, and so the piece makes a really interesting transition from this really dissonant, busy beginning into the, the really pretty melodies later on. The real challenge in this piece is not anything technical, there's nothing that's really physically difficult to execute on the marimbas, but it's really more of a mind game. Um, it's, it's really easy to get convinced that some other player is playing steady quarter notes when in fact they're playing all offbeats. You have to really know the other player's parts very intricately because there are passages where there's you know, pretty simple melodic line, but you just have one note every once in a while in the course of that. And so knowing the composite, the total melody, what the, the actual music sounds like, makes it a lot easier to fit in your part. There's parts of the piece that are really easy to think of in a steady sort of half note pulse, but there are other parts um, where your rhythm goes against the pulse so steadily, it's almost easier maybe to think of it in groups of five eighth notes or six eighth notes or whatever. Um, for us rehearsing it, it was really all about taking little passages, little chunks, and trying to understand what the big picture looked like and fitting that together. Other parts of the piece, we really had to just practice the basic technique of one person playing quarter notes on the beat and one person playing eighth notes on the off beat. So you get that jugga, 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 jugga back and forth between a couple different players. This is a really fantastic piece of music. It's written in such a way that it's really a marimba piece. It works so well in these instruments. And there are certain incredibly challenging things about it in terms of these rhythmic intricacies. But by doing it, you become such a better player. Like it's the sort of piece that just by learning it makes you really uh, a much better player. And there's a lot of facets of it that are not difficult, technically speaking, in terms of just executing your parts. So it's, it's a really great experience for someone, for people want to get together and play this piece. Um, it's incredibly beneficial for everyone's sense of rhythm, everyone's sense of time, and just your ability to listen in a small ensemble.